Hello, I'm Oggy or Oggy Reno, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can uh, take away so you don't get um, the prompt pop up every time you try to open your exe file, aka the let's say the shortcut to your game. Um, if you don't know how what uh, it looks like, the it's called a UAC prompt um, pop up, so it will look something like this, where you have to verify um, the file origin and the publisher and that you actually will allow it to change your device and whatnot. So how to change this? It's the normal way uh, people would do it is just to go to user account settings control and just pull this all the way down. And th the thing that will do is it will make it happen, but it will also let everything you try to open uh, go without the prompt. So, for example, if it is a virus or malware, it will just open by itself and go freely. Um, you have no control over it anymore. So, you don't want this. Uh, you want to keep it at uh, the recommended one. So, how do you fix this problem without turning the bar or putting the bar down? Um, you want to first go and search for task scheduler. Then you want to go to action, create basic task. Now, you want to name this something you could recognize uh, fairly easy. So, I want to name this HP2 because that's the game I'm going to run. And then, um, no pop up. That's simple. Description doesn't matter. Press next. Now, you want to select the when the computer starts uh, so it automatically starts every time you start your computer. Um, it's the simplest way to do it. Uh, click next then you want to press start a program here you want to browse to the way or to to the um, location of your exe file aka game.exe in the harry potter file um, folder actually and um, the thing that you like that we would have done now is that we have created a shortcut um, or to run the game as speedrun you want to create a shortcut to the game so you can have it windowed and have a function key uh, uh, hooked up to it so you can load the game without actually like double clicking on the game. Uh, this works with it, don't worry. Uh, you just click browse and then you go and find your shortcut which is here. I have it in Norwegian, sorry. Uh, just double click it and you're done. Now it will do exactly what your shortcut does with the, the window and the shortcut. So click next. Now you just want to click finish. Uh, so now you want to go to the library, task schedule library, you want to find it, it's somewhere here, for me it's on the bottom, and then you want to uh, click it and click properties, or double click it, it doesn't matter. Um, here you can, you don't want to mess around too much, uh, if you click with the highest pri privileges, it will, It. I haven't tested it, but I assume it will do... Um, it won't do really anything, it's just that it will be prioritized, uh, which is already, it already is, so don't worry about that. Uh, on settings, the other ones you can just forget, and the settings here, you just want to see that these three boxes are checked, um, checked on. Um, this one, you can take it off or on, it does not matter at all. Um, so then you just press OK, and you're done. Now... Normally, when you cl open the game, you would get the, the text box here to open, but we actually, when we click it now, uh, we will skip that and the game will just start. So thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope this helps.